Hey guys, what's up? It's Christine Seal, the High Level Queen. Do Twilio A2P requirements have you running around like a chicken with your head cut off? Well, don't worry because I put together this simple guide to help you get completely certified with your A2P in just three easy steps. So let's get started. So for those of you guys who don't know, we actually have a free Facebook group called Marketing Agency Automation Secrets, where we give away hundreds of dollars in free trainings every single week to our members. So click the link below to go check that out. All right. So who should do these Twilio A2P requirements? Well, the answer is if you are an, an agency and you are running Twilio for others or if your clients send out more than 3,000 messages per day, you should definitely do these requirements, okay? So the main thing that you need to worry about right now is registering your agency for A2P. So I am logged in to Twilio right now, okay? So go ahead and log in. And then what we're gonna do, step one is to create a business profile on the trust hub. So if you can see the new layout on Twilio, it is very confusing. I don't like it at all. And I've just been using this little jump to thingy. So I'm going to type in trust hub and then I'm going to go to A2P messaging. And the first thing that you're going to want to do is create a business profile. Okay, so I just switched to my client's account really quickly so that I could show you what it looks like when it has not been created or registered. So go ahead and click register. And we're going to create this business profile. So the first thing that you're going to want to do is to enter the EIN number for your client or your business. Okay, so we're going to do this. So it's not liking this and it's not working. So you can skip this and manually fill in the business profile here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull this directly from the LLC records. Now, uh, if you don't want to bother your client, you'll probably have to, but you can do an, uh, an LLC lookup in your state, but this has to match exactly. Okay. This has to match exactly what is on the business records. So I'm just literally copying and pasting here. from the, uh, the Secretary of State records. It's supposed to match exactly. Okay. And then this, um, if you are a, an agency, you want to pick this. Okay. I'm setting it up for my client right now. <clears throat> So if you're an agency setting it up for yourself, pick this one. Okay, since I'm setting it up for a sub account, it won't let me change it, all right? And then on the business type, this is going to be whatever your, uh, your business is set up as, okay? And then this is... If you are an agency, just put technology here, unless that doesn't apply. And then this, this website, this needs to be accurate. So you're going to want to make sure that your business name is on your website. And then just put the countries that you are actually in here. And then this is someone who can be contacted about your account. So you can put yourself here. Um, 
you can put your client here. I'm just going to go ahead and fill in my information. Okay, so I filled in my information and then I put in my email. And then what we're going to do is we're going to review this. We're going to make sure that it matches the LLC information exactly from the public records. If you are not sure how to do that, go to Google and type in your state LLC lookup. Okay, it is super, super easy. You can get to it that way. So review this and then submit it to review. Okay. And then it's just basically saying it's going to give you like a TCR score um, based on, you know, your, um, the score that's assigned to your brand and it just, you know, you have to match everything. It says right here. Okay. All right. So it could take between 15 to 30 minutes, uh, minimum for this to be registered and get approved. So I've been using Twilio for a while. It just depends on the age of your Twilio account, how many messages that you send out, if your account's in good reputation, or if you get a lot of complaints. So I'm going to go ahead and let this spin and come back. Okay, so it's done and the score is back. It's not awesome. So what we are doing is we are shooting for anywhere between uh, 65 to 68. And this is a 38, which is not amazing. Uh, but basically what happens, they use a reputation algorithm to determine a trust level, which is attached to a score. And then this is going to be reviewed uh, based on criteria specific to your company, like your name, address, business identification number. So that's why you want to make sure when you submit your information that it matches. So we're going to go ahead and click on continue and we're going to create a new messaging service. Okay, so now we need to do a new messaging service and this is like a use case for the reason why you need to send text messages. So messaging service friendly name and you can just um, make this the name of your business or um, do that. And then here, what you want to do is you want to either choose engage in discussion or notify my users. And this is just to signal that they have already opted in. And then here you're going to choose your phone number. Uh, if you have multiple phone numbers, you can actually choose this. And then um, you can actually apply your use case to all of them, which is going to save you quite a bit of money. So if you have like, you know, 10 or 15, 20 phone numbers, just choose this. Okay. And then select all of them. All right. So then we're going to continue. Now, this is super important. When you're registering your use case, you want to choose either low volume mixed or mixed. Low volume mixed means that you're sending less than 3,000 texts per day, which is going to cover most of you. Mixed is if you're doing more than that. Now, I will tell you, if you choose mixed, then you may not qualify to be a starter when that comes out. So if you're sending less than 3,000 a day, choose low volume mixed. Then here on the use case description, so we're just gonna say appointment reminders for customers, clients, and opted in prospects. And you don't wanna say anything about leads, no leads. Okay. Uh, don't mention leads. Don't mention lead generation. You will get banned immediately. So don't even talk about that. 
All right, then here on the sample message, we just open up our high level go to appointment reminders, copy the text message and paste it in here. Okay, then we're also going to go in here and grab another one and put it here. Okay, and then I'm going to include embedded links, but I am not going to include phone numbers. So I am going to register my campaign use case. And then go ahead and wait for this to stop spinning. All right, so we actually got some confetti there. And it says, congratulations, your registration is complete. Uh, it has my use case. It says I'm verified. And uh, it just gives me this here. And it looks like we are good to go. So we're all good for now. And I hope this helped you guys to set up your A2P without it being scary or overwhelming. And don't forget to like and subscribe so you don't miss any future videos from me. And I'll see you next time.